fun, mate. It's it's crazy. And and boys, you know, Rome, Kenny, and Paps, like for you guys, separate from from your all sort of own NFT that we're gonna touch on. Like, what have you guys seen before before you kind of tapped into this space? Have you guys been looking at it? Have you been um, as amazed of, as I have? And obviously, the door just explained the wild, wild west of the you know the digital world. Yeah, I um, I first heard about um, NFTs. I was sort of I, I was trading some some card with some dude. Um, I was doing a uh, trade. At, I met him. I met up with him at a McDonald's and Bentley. We're gonna um, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> right, he, um, it, was, it was a trade. I was like, gave him a card. He said he's like crypto, and it was like we just sat there and just chatted about heaps of things. And he spoke to me. He was like, "Oh yeah, bro." Like he was an early investor in the crypto space, and he said, "Oh, bro. By the way, I've just like I've just." bought um, two crypto punks and I was like, oh, what a crypto punk. Oh. Yeah, bro. And then it, he told me exactly what they were, the first NFT, um, told me the whole like background of the woman just sitting there having a chat. And that's when I sort of was like, bro, what, what, what's going on here? And then I started looking into a few things and then um, by the Did time, you buy one? Nah, no way, nah. Wait, so but just, just let me in. clarify before you go on here, Kenny. So you were at a Macca's in Bentley and you've met some guy <laughs> and he said he's just bought some crypto punks. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. what is going on in this world, man? For those listening, crypto punks and bored apes are probably the two mainstream ones across media that have just gone like ballistic, right? Like from, yeah, from blue chip NFTs to like these are worth half a million dollars up towards like three, four million dollars, even some of them. Jay-Z even has a CryptoPunk as like his Twitter profile. 